In this video, we're going to make the gutter for the gumball machine. And as always, we're going to start with the rectangle tool. And we're going to draw a rectangle that is 4.5, comma, 1.25. So 4.5 by 1 and a quarter. And press return. Of course, we're going to shift Z to zoom in. And we're going to push this rectangle up 1.25 and shift Z. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to create an arc across the front. So we're going to get the two point arc tool, click on the upper left corner, move across to the upper right corner and then drop down to the center by an amount of 0.5, which of course you can simply type that in. And press return. I'm then going to orbit the piece, and I'm going to push back until it's equal to, and then I'm going to click again, and it goes away. So you end up with this kind of half pipe section, so to speak. Okay. I'm then going to, using the camera standard views menu, roll around to the bottom of the piece. I'm going to get my circle tool. And using the circle tool, instead of using guidelines to find the center of this piece, um, there's actually some really uh, neat programming within this software that if I go to the end and find this midpoint and start moving across, now keep in mind I haven't clicked anywhere yet. Okay, I just simply moved along the edge until I found the midpoint. And I'm going to start dragging until it starts recording the center line. And then I'm going to move up to the top, and I'm going to find the midpoint on the top, and slowly move down. Now I've got a green line coming down, and when it gets to the red line, that's the center point of the piece. So I'm going to click and move to the side by an amount of 0.5, which will make a one-inch hole. Then I'm going to orbit around so that I still see that circle. And I'm going to click on that circle and push through the top. Just so it's sticking up. No specific uh, distance, but just so it's sticking out of the top like this. I will then orbit around. I'm going to select this edge of the circle, kind of the side of, of the tube here, or the cylinder and I'm going to go under the edit menu, select intersect faces, and say with model. And when I do that, what it just did, if you were looking, was created a line right there. I will then get my eraser tool, and I'm going to click on the edge of the circle, not the middle part of the circle, the eraser doesn't work there. I'm going to click on the edge of this circle, and then Using the selection tool, click on that face, press delete, and there we have the hole through the object. And I'm going to spin around to one end or the other. It really doesn't matter which one. I'm going to get my circle tool again. I'm going to find the midpoint along the side. Slowly move over to record. like it's not wanting to cooperate here on this side. Okay, so we will, in fact, go ahead and just use the tape measure tool then this time. And we'll drag two guidelines to the midpoints. Get our circle tool. And click to over. We're going to use a radius of 1 8 this time. Again, of course, as always, staying on axis. I'm going to orbit a bit, and I'm going to pull that circle out, 0.5. I'm going to orbit around to the other end, and repeat the process. Now on this end, for some reason it wants to work, so whatever's most comfortable for you, just find the center at the end of this. 
Move out one eighth. Pull it out 0.5. Going to delete the guides. And then we're going to save the piece. And we're going to call it gutter. G U T T E R. And again, as always, let's go ahead and throw it in your documents folder. 